This is Twit. So, Jason, as you're doing the rundown on the doc, I was cursing you because I can never pronounce QI wireless chart Chi. It's Chi, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's what I say. I I don't know. Is it Chi or Chi? Chi, Chi chart. Anyway, I've always said Chi. Chi. Okay. Well, regardless. I said Chi as well. Yeah. All right, there so chi all around, chi for everybody. There it is. Um, so, uh, thanks to thanks to the new chi two wireless charging standard that was announced today at CES during the Wireless Power Consortium. Which, by the way, if you're looking for a good time in Vegas. It's the Wireless Power Consortium. That's where you mm-hmm. want to be. That's where all the action happens. <laughs> um, but uh, at that consortium, um, it, it was uh, it was announced that uh, with, with Qi 2 Wireless uh, MagSafe tech is coming to Android. Um, it's, uh, this is made popularized by the Apple iPhones um, line of phones, but it's slotted to arrive near the end of the year. And Qi 2 will be up to 15 watt initially, uh, which is what iPhones initially can support. Um, and that will go up once the specifications are completed. So if you've been jealous of your iPhone friends who can use the MagSafe kind of connector, wireless connector uh, to charge their phone, it's coming to Android. So there it is. So Okay. I've never used last. MagSafe, so I, I can't really... Yeah. Um can't really speak to how my convenient wife, my, it is or anything. But my wife has my wife has an iPhone and has a phone with, with uses and I got her the 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 MagSafe thing and it's it just it snaps into place. That's all. It just click and it is it, so it's nice, I guess, but it, it's not like it's changed her life in any way, shape, or form. So <laughs> so it's it just snaps into place. It's, so it's, it's yeah. the magnet, obviously, that snaps yeah. it there. But then the wireless charging. Um, so I, so I, basically she just she just she, at the end at the end of the day she just puts her phone on the base it snaps into place and she goes to sleep and she wakes up and yeah. it's charged. So that's uh, that's about it. I, I mean I definitely say it's it's yeah. so, it solves a solves a problem in that you know you a lot of times a lot of like low end wireless chargers don't really have good indicators whether or not you're actually charging or you might do you know put down your phone but it's barely mm-hmm. misaligned. And it's like yeah. kind of on off uh, charging alignment. and that's losing a lot of energy yeah, and like causing your phone yes. to heat up a lot. Yeah. yeah. And this I, is I've got, that, I've, like I've, making sure. I've run into many problems with that where uh, yeah. like, let's say it's, it's, it's at night and I'm using my phone, you know, and I take it off the, the charging station. I'm like, right, well, you know, I'm going to scroll Twitter for a bit. And then I get tired and I put it down, realize I did not put it down correctly. And I wake <sighs> up, my phone's dead and I need to leave in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. What your oh, yeah, phone yeah. doesn't Doing support two hundred watt uh, <laughs> charging in that in that case charge it it's, from it's zero a, to one hundred. It's a Google Pixel currently, so God no, knows. it doesn't. <laughs> it definitely does not. If that's the case, okay. So that, I guess where my confusion was coming in is like, well, okay, so our, our Android phones already have wireless charging. So is the spec the magnet that holds it in the place? It's not like the magnet yes. is transferring the data or or transferring the energy itself. The magnet. It's purely just holding it into place so that the wireless charging that already exists can pass through. Or does this change that wireless or that spec at all as far as how that wireless charging takes place outside of the magnet? So disclaimer, I haven't looked at the Qi 2 spec and I'm pretty sure the press release says that it's going to be published later this year. So I don't think it's even right. Like okay, so we yet. don't even really but know. They, yeah. But like well, as you mentioned, like what it does add seems to just be the magnets, the magnetic hold. Okay. The the charging itself will probably be the same. And what they're probably going to do is they're going to standardize the way those magnets are aligned, so that you know, like right now, if you get like a MagSafe compatible um, charger, like there are some reports where like people earlier have tried, hey, well, hey, this Pixel phone actually supports MagSafe. Well, kind of, kind of doesn't. Like you can put it on, it might detach attach a little bit, but the the connection isn't really secure. So right. probably what they're going to standardize is like the way the magnets are aligned on the phone end and like the charger end, so that you know if you have a Qi two compatible charger and a Qi two compatible um, phone, those will always align. Got it. And that's that's incredibly convenient. I, I've totally had that situation where I put my phone on the wireless charger and go to bed and wake up in the morning and it hasn't charged a single percent. I'm like, no, <laughs> never again. So, I mean, I, I just plug. I have a wireless charger here. I never use it. I just plug in my phone just because like. Yeah, that's the same as me. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Like, why? Like, I just don't need yeah. it. 
Yeah, but but I'm realizing as we talk about this more, if I knew that just setting it on there, it snapped into place and I and there was no ambiguity about it, I would totally use it. Um, yeah, so maybe that is the the missing piece for wireless charging in my life. I don't know. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Globally respected companies and agencies turn to ACI Learning year after year to help them maintain their competitive edge, supporting organizations across audit, IT, and cybersecurity readiness. ACI Learning keeps organizations at the top of their game. Visit acilearning.com and let ACI level up your IT team. 